Welcome to Dad's Father's TV Network. I'm your host, Mike the Mediator, and we wanted to do something different today. Quite often we talk about child support, we talk about divorces, CPS. Today, I have one of, I guess one of the most important judge that we should, should know but don't know, and this is Judge uh, Stacy Williams. And you are over the 101 Civil Court. Yes. Now, a lot of people are like, well, what's so important about that? In your famous elevator speech, what is the role of civil court today? All right. Well, I'm a district court judge, and in Dallas County, because it's so populous, the district court judge's jurisdiction is separated. So you have a family district court judge, a civil district court judge, and a felony district court judge. Oh. I'm a civil district court judge, and so we hear primarily medical malpractice, personal injury, commercial, um, credit card disputes. Um, those type of cases. Breach I don't, of contracts and yes. stuff like that. Right, right, right. So now with that, the average Joe Blow probably has no clue they can utilize this court. As it relates to family court, everybody knows you got to file a paperwork, take it to the district clerk. Is your role similar to that as well? Well, um, they can do pro se. A lot of people, if they have a small, a small claims court, they take it to small claims court, mm -hmm. which is the JP. But people do represent themselves as though when you get to the district court level, um, the <laughs> rules of evidence are enforced against you, the Texas Rules of Civil Procedure. Mm -hmm. So even if they might file a lawsuit or they might answer a lawsuit, shortly thereafter they realize that they do need legal counsel. Legal counseling. And, and the great thing about it is, one of the things I love is you actually have a, a I don't know if I call it a program or an academy called the uh, Citizen Civil Academy that you do quite often. You started there, what, a few months back, a year ago or something? I started it in my first term of office, six months, and it's called the Citizen Civil Academy. And it was to address that issue because people understand what goes on at Frank Crowley, the murders and the rapes. But when I tell people that I'm a civil district court judge and I work at George Allen, I get a blank right, look right. on my face. That's on their child faces. support court. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So, so I developed a three-week course um, the first time we did it at the courthouse actually here in my courtroom um, from 7 to 8 30. Now we're taking it out on the road to Dallas County mm. and we're going to do it again in April, April 13th, no April, sorry April 16th, 16th. the <laughs> 23rd and the 30th and we're taking it to a church. Um, West Dallas Community Church has opened up their church and we're going to be doing it from 10 until 12 o'clock noon on a Saturday. Now if there's someone watching this that was interested in attending this I mean obviously they should register and we'll get to that but who are some of the ones that you definitely think should come out at least one time to see what's going on with this civil account? Oh, I, I think it's for all the citizens of Dallas County because you need to know the information has not been out there we found the need and you just need that information. You never know if you get sued in a civil court, you have to answer within a certain amount of time or the other side's gonna get a default judgment against you. You need to understand what we're here, the types of cases that we hear and what goes on. We even have, um, in the second lesson, it's about the voir dire process, how people get selected to be on the jury panel. Wow. And we have two top trial attorneys William Tolles and Spencer Brown, who are going to put our participants through a mock voir dire, which is a jury selection. Because you get that little envelope mm -hmm. with a red sheet of paper, well, what happens to that? We show you how it gets computerized, what information the lawyers get, and then they will show you how they use that information to select fair and impartial jurors. Wow, that's, wow. I didn't even know that. I guess I'm so <laughs> focused on family. But th then I guess my question is, and some of you guys probably agree with me, is what about so many people get these payday loans or rent -a center stuff? And I, do those ones come to courts like this as well? They usually go through JP court. JP court? Yes, but so, depending on the amount of controversy. So what are some of the common ones the everyday person, if, if, if there is, will come through this court that they need to know about before they get here? I know you're going to learn it here, but... Well, we have over 14 areas of subject matter jurisdiction, wow. so um, I don't know if we can say something common. Right. I think probably the most common might be the personal injury, the car accident cases, um, the slip and fall cases. Ah, okay, um, okay. But because we have such a diverse range of subject matter, it's hard for me to say what's common. Oh, okay. Well, at least you know that's a lot behind the scenes. So I guess one of the main thing suggestions we can tell with them if there's any type of civil notice on any level, pay attention. 
pay attention and respond, answer. Even if you have to handwrite an answer, get an answer on file. If you don't file an answer, then a default judgment is taken against you. And, for and those it doesn't know what matter. Default, judgment default judgment is just, well, the other side didn't answer, so it must be true. Oh, wow. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to relate that to child support court. You didn't show up, and that thing in the corner say non-agreed petition or non-agreed order, same thing, default. No show, no say, no choice. So, okay, so I know this coming up on the 16th. Uh, who are some of the ones that's going to be there supporting, participating in this, and share some of the things you had in your first one that most of them can, uh, you know, kind of Well, relate. we had citizens all over from Dallas County. It was a great, diverse um, crowd. Um, this time, one thing that we're doing differently, we're going to have a panel of civil judges to actually, for a, a question and answer period, we have my colleague, um, Judge Dale Tillery of the 134th Court. We have Margaret Jones Johnson, who is a probate court judge. Uh, she's civil, mm. but she's a county judge, but it was so important that people understand what civil courts do. So she's going to be there. She's a probate. Now, what's the difference between a, county, a probate and a court? Well, probate does with um, wills, okay. um, guardianships. Uh, okay. um, Those I call it the death issues. <laughs> Death, death issues. And then we have Judge Cheryl Lee Shannon, who presides over juvenile court. So she's going to be present. And then we have Sarah Martinez, who is a JP court judge. Wow, so you have all the, I guess, the major courts that... Civil courts, yes. Civil or courts. that handle civil right. matters, regardless of whether or not they're JP court, like Judge Martinez. Um, Judge Jones Johnson, she handles probate matters. That's a county court. Mm -hmm. And then we have the specialized um, district courts, civil, Judge Shirley Shannon, which is exclusively to juvenile issues, and then my colleague, Judge Tillery. And wow. we're working on right now to get a family district court judge. Wow, wow. Wow, that's a and lot. And that's going to be on the last day, so we're very excited about that. So that's very important, and I hold this up again, you guys. It starts on the 16th. I highly recommend, I'll be there, because despite I'm in the business, I have no clue I say that on record, but I really have a clue. <laughs> I don't have the enough knowledge because typically when the guys come into my um, mediation or my uh, uh, office, I hear one thing and then quite often I send them to a family judge. But then you know, I also hear three or four other things that's like, okay, where do you send these people? Because at the end of the day, without the knowledge, they're going to get something against them. Right. You know, and the sad part about it nowadays, things happen quickly. quickly. Yes, very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. You know, and, and guys, I, I really, and I'm saying guys, but I mean ladies also. 16th of April, 23rd of April, and the 30th of April, mark your calendar. Because uh, it said, where is it again? It's in Oakland. It's going to be now at the West Dallas Community Church on 2215 Canada Drive. And also, if they go to our website, www.ccadallas.com, it has all the information. You can register online. But if you don't have access to the internet, we make it easy. We have a number that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 214-509-6229. So there's no excuse not no. to register. So if you don't have, you know, you know, who don't have a cell phone nowadays? If not, you can borrow mine, call them, you know. <laughs> You know, so I mean, I know you know we wanted to get something on camera. I definitely will be there all three days. Thank you. Uh, I try to bring my colleague with me over there, so maybe we can get some good in interviews with them as well, if you allow us to. Definitely. Because I think this is one of the areas that we, uh, normal citizens, fall short. Yes. You know, I, I myself personally slipped in the store the other day, but I'm too old to fall, so I caught my balance. So I'm not trying to <laughs> get paid. But there's a lot of people that I mediated a lady clear on the camera, slipped in a spiel, right in the section, hit her head on camera, but she never responded. And that's one of, I'm quite sure you see several cases because of lack of knowledge of what to do or not to do. So um, what last closing remark do we have for those people? Because for me, I'll say it over and over again, this is a must, not an option, a must. Because everyone knows if you break the law criminally, what's going to happen. Everybody knows what happened if you don't do a court order and child support, what will happen. 
Now, the other side of your life is the civil, and that's probably one of the most common areas we fail in the most. Definitely. In my personal opinion. And we're just trying to get the knowledge out. We saw a void. And even if you can't make all three sessions, I want you to come to at least one. But let us know because we give lots of handouts. Information's one thing, and you might, it's good to hear, but we give you practical handouts that you can refer to. So if you can make it to all three, and if you make it to all three sessions, you get a special Citizen Civil Academy certificate of completion. <laughs> um, and even if you can't finish it up, you can come back the next time. I'm committed to doing this twice a year in the spring and the fall. Wow. And we're taking it all over Dallas County. Wow. Well, I just want to make a quick interview with a very special judge here, Judge Stacy William, and I happen to know her from back in the day. So this is not your first time around as a judge. This is your second or third? Third. Third time third, around. Yes. So years of wisdom, years of knowledge that you have right at your disposal for three consecutive weekends. You can't get your attorney to pay attention to you three times, and you're paying them. So <laughs> I know I'm wrong. Somebody's okay. going to say something about yeah, it, but did I lie? <laughs> <laughs> so with that, tell a friend, tell a family member, because civil is equally as important as family and criminal. And you have a wealth of knowledge, not only with, with Judge Stacy, but you have three, four other judges and others that can be there to answer questions you normally just will not have access to. So remember, April the 16th, April the 23rd, April the 30th, it starts at 10 o'clock, and that's the real 10 o'clock, not CP time, 10 a.m. And it goes to noon, so you have two hours of opportunity. Do not waste this opportunity, because, I mean, I've been knowing you, what, 10, 12 years, and yeah, sometimes I have to call you sometimes, <laughs> Judge. I need help to think through it, and, and it's, it's a valuable piece of opportunity to have someone of such wisdom that you can reach out to. So, any closing remark for those who are looking, or I know you have to get out of here, you're such a VIP judge, so. <laughs> now just please join us, we welcome you. The program is for you, about you. That's why we call it the Citizen Civil Academy. It's for the citizens um, to learn as much as you can. Your tax dollars pay our salaries, and you should know what's going on in your civil courts here at the George Allen Building. Well, wow. with that being said, we just want to make sure you have this tidbit of great wisdom. You're watching Dad's Father's TV Network with your host, Mike the Mediator, and the Honorable Judge Stacy Williams. We'll see you there on the 16th at 9.15. <laughs>